at the book bar. It is day six of the 12 days of Bookmas, and today's theme is books with LGBTQ characters. I've even got my rainbow tree all ready to go. So without further ado, here are my top picks for you. First on my list is Your Next by Kylie Shakti. Kylie is a favorite of the book bar. She was our very first interview back in August. If you didn't um, get to see the show then, don't worry. It is on our YouTube channel over under Book Hangovers. She was such a delight to have and um, hopefully we'll get to have her again if there's a possible sequel to this. Um, but this book was her debut. It follows a bisexual teenager named Flora. And Flora's got a bit of a troubled history. She tends to find dead bodies. One of them is her ex-girlfriend, so she decides to investigate the murder. Along the way, she gets into so much trouble. She has a bit of a reputation for kind of sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. Um, so therefore, it just you know keeps getting her into mess after mess. And however, it's a thriller. And so it keeps you turning the pages to see if this girl is gonna get out of this situation. I will say there is a huge plot twist at the end, which makes for a huge book hangover. So if you have a teenager at home, I highly recommend this one. Also, if um, you yourself, it's really not just for teenagers, enjoy reading young adult, then this is a must have for this season. Number two on the list is a stunning piece of work by Aidan Thomas titled Cemetery Boys. It follows Yadriel, who is a trans boy determined to prove his gender to his traditional Latin family. So how the story goes is he decides that he's going to be a real brujo. If you don't know what that term means, it's someone who practices black magic. And so he wants to summon the ghost of his murdered cousin and try and set it free. However, the ghost that he actually ends up summoning is the brooding bad boy of the school named Julian Diaz. Julian decides that he is not going into death quietly. He's got a few loose ends to tie up. He wants to find out what happened. And so Yadriel decides without any other choice that he's going to help Julian so that they can both get what they want in the end. However, the longer Yadriel spends with Julian, the less he wants him to leave. It is a beautiful piece of writing, especially for any child out there who is struggling with identity. They can really connect to these characters, and I recommend it for um, just an enjoyable read for you, but also for students, for loved ones, anybody. Number three on my list is Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. Exciting Times is a bit in the vein of Sally Rooney, who is the author of Normal People, and I'm a big fan of that story. And a friend actually recommended this book to me, so I picked it up, um, and I loved it. It follows the main character, whose name is Ava. She moves to Hong Kong for a fresh new start. Uh, she teaches English to rich kids, and she comes across a witty banker from London named Julian. Um, kind of fast forward, they develop a relationship, they move in together. Uh, however, he goes back to London, leaving her alone in Hong Kong and also wondering where the relationship is going. So this is where we cue Edith. Um, hence the name Exciting Times. And the problem here is, you know, they start to spend time together. Edith is different. She does different things, takes her to the theater, leaves tulips um, outside their door. But Ava hasn't exactly been honest. She has made Julian out to be just an elusive roommate until he comes back to Hong Kong ready to give that lavish lifestyle to her and she is now forced with a decision will it be julian or will it be edith next on the list is cinderella is dead by kaylin bayron there was a lot of hype surrounding this book and so i decided to pick it up and when I started reading it, I just couldn't put it down. It is a beautifully written, fresh retelling on an old classic. And it really made me think about every single fairy tale I've ever been told. So how the story 
goes, it follows a 16-year-old main character whose name is Sophia. It's 200 years after Cinderella has found her prince. Teen girls in this time period are required to appear at the annual ball where men of the kingdom select their wives. Well, Sophia would rather marry her best friend, Aaron, but knowing that they could never be matched together, she decides to flee. She goes and hides out in Cinderella's mausoleum, and it's there where she meets Constance. Now, Constance is the last known descendant of Cinderella and her stepsisters. So together they vow to bring down the king once and for all. But in the process, they learn that there's a little more to Cinderella's story than they've been told. So you pick it up for yourself and you decide, but I highly recommend this one. Next, we have Memorial, a novel by Brian Washington. It's a very funny and profound story about family. It follows the characters of Benson and Mike, who are two young guys who live together in Houston, which is um, where I'm from, so I was very partial to the story. Mike is a Japanese-American chef at a Mexican restaurant, and Benson's a black daycare teacher, and they've been together for a few years. Uh, but now they're not so sure why they're still a couple. I mean, they still have all of the requisite things, sex included, but they're wondering if they love each other. So when Mike finds out his estranged father is dying in Osaka, just as his, his mother, Misuko, arrives in Texas for a visit, Mike picks up, leaves everything, and flies across the world to say goodbye to his father. In Japan, he undergoes an extraordinary transformation, discovering the truth about his family and his past. But back home, his mother and Benson are stuck living together as unconventional roommates. And it's an absurd domestic situation that ends up meaning more to each of them than they ever could have predicted. So without Mike's immediate pull, Benson begins to push outwards, realizing he might just know what he wants out of life and have the goods to go get it. So during the entire story, both men will change in ways that will either make them stronger together or fracture everything they've ever known. And just maybe they'll be okay in the end. Thank you so much for tuning in for day six of the 12 Days of Bookmas with the Book Bar. Please be sure to check out our channel again tomorrow with another sneak peek at some fun gifts with Sarah.